Hello guys, it's me, Dr. Sandra Lee. I know you're about to check into a pimple popping video, but I wanted to take a moment to tell you about something that seriously saves, uh, really saves my life, I feel like, in many times of the day when I'm running around and doing other things and I'm sometimes I'm doing something that I don't really want to do, like driving somewhere or exercising and I need some kind of distraction. Let me tell you how Audible is a lifesaver. Audible has so many audio audiobooks to choose from, but they also have so much more because I don't really personally like to listen to long books. I like to listen to things that I'm able to finish maybe in one or two sittings. So I really love um, podcasts. I love some of these, like these sort of self-improvement kind of um, um, audiobooks really. Uh, I love the Audible originals right now. I'm a little obsessed with Tinica Jones. It is so well written. Tinica Jones is hilarious. It sucks me in and I'm still in the middle of it. I need to find out what happens. You know, I'm a pretty busy person. I really like to not just do one thing. I like to do multiple things at the same time. So really, uh, the time where I'm just having to maybe clean up my closet or cook dinner or drive somewhere. Uh, these are all times that I, I, I think they're called found time where you find time to kind of um, broaden your just your environment or your exposure or your knowledge and that's what audible allows me to do so I'm obsessed with it I need it to survive really on a daily basis uh, and I just I, I you know it's just something that is just a part of my life is whether you've to check audible out have you checked it out because you can do it really easily at audible.com and you can get a special if you go to audible.com slash pimple, or you can even text pimple, P-I-M-P-L-E, to 500-500. Even Taquito came to join me to tell you to join Audible, right? Maybe we can find a nice cat book or some cats meowing for you on Audible. You know, you can even get my book. I have a book called Put Your Best Face Forward, and it is also available on audible.com. And um, one of the chapters is my voice. So you're going to hear me. Um, giving you some stories about my own book and it's a little bit a part of my life. So I hope you check that out too. So remember, go to audible.com slash pimple, P-I-M-P-L-E, or text pimple to 500-500 and enjoy. Yeah. Okay, you shouldn't feel anything other than us touching you. I'm gonna turn your arm up a little. Oh, there you go. Just like that. She's excited mm -hmm. to see what this is. You guys think it's lipoma too? Yeah. Oh, hello. <gasps> is it a cyst? <laughs> no doing oh. that. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're okay. I, it might be a cyst. We'll see now. Look, I think there's something under there that looks more cyst-like. I thought it was too, but we'll see. We'll see. Now I'm going to be a little more careful. Sorry. No, you're okay. No, no. <clears throat> no, I think it is a light one. There's a steato system right above it. Let me just... Well, it's like a two-in-one. Well, like a little baby one like above it. Oh. That threw us off, maybe I still think. Let's see. Oh, I thought she 
How are you two doing, okay? How, are you the youngest? Squishy? <laughs> <laughs> your mom's having another squishy. Yeah, here's another squishy. Do you like your name Squishy or do you not like it? Because I don't want to have give this a name Squishy and then all of a sudden there's two Squishies. <laughs> there's only like one Squishy. Gonna squeeze you a little bit. Oh, awesome! Look at him. Ooh, <laughs> it's a baby Squishy. Yes. Yeah. That is so cool. So it is. Here's your Squishy. Mama. Yeah. Oh, I, don't like <laughs> I don't like that squishy. You don't like that squishy? You like you squishy better? Okay. That was cool. I, yeah. I don't like that squishy. Oh, well, I got, well, the squishy's gone, so that's okay. That's good. You don't like it, it's gone. So, why do these like pumas, they're just fatty, benign, usually? Gross, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just hereditary. Um, they. Um, people get them. They're, mm -hmm. very, they're pretty common. Mm -hmm. Okay. I um, they they do. Sometimes they tend to run in families. You know, or yeah. people tend to get multiple ones. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's it's just crazy. You don't have too many of them, though. I mean, not as far as I know of. You have more steatocystomas than you have of of True. these. Do those typically coincide? They they come together? Um, or? I, I, I'm not sure about that. I have to look that up mm. because I, I, I think they can, but I don't see other people with a lot of like lipomas with them. Maybe you just have both types or right. maybe you do have, sometimes people, there are, are other conditions or I don't know if you can get multiple ones mm -hmm. of different kinds of growth, but the most important thing about them is that they're benign, so yes. that's good. Right, for sure. Mm -hmm. You're so amazing. It's just absolutely incredible. Mm, not really. No, but, really. Know. I've been to so many doctors over the years. I'm telling you. That have tried to I'm like your biggest you cheerleader. <laughs> it's just amazing. There are definitely other um, dermatologists and, and doctors out there that can... I know, but, yeah, but I, I trust know me. But no, you. I've I been to it. so many and you're... Mm -hmm knowledgeable, you're, you're good at what you do, you know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, we just try you're... to be calm and make sure that you feel okay and you feel comfortable. That's the most important. Well, thank you. And I do. And you do, yeah, which is good. So, these stitches will come out more in like two weeks. Sure. And actually, don't pull quite so hard there. I'm just pull to the side a little bit more, so thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so relaxed I could take a nap. You said that, or, I think you said that last time. I know, time. it's okay. true, because I feel so comfortable with you. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> it is good, it's like But it's like, you like amazing. everything is like a massage. Mm-hmm. Hmm, I should get tips like massage. Can you let that go so that I have a little more, since we're gonna do that other one too. A little more extra, so I don't want to suture. So do you just know that that's a lipoma, or do you still send it out, or you don't? Um, typically? well, we're, we would you, we usually uh, send that kind of thing out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But I'm pretty positive it's a lipoma. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm sure you've seen a lot. You've seen. It too. <laughs> yes, I've I think seen. You it. could see yeah. that 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 looks like a lipoma. Right. Mm -hmm. Technical issues here. Hold on a minute. There we go. Let's start that knot over again. So this daughter here, technical issues. She's. Are you the oldest? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 I was the baby until squishy. Oh, squishy. Okay. <laughs> There we go. 
Good. It's too tight before. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now let's re 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 Okay. Did you hear more? Oh, she's fine. She's okay. sitting right there. She's not. She's not moving or anything. No, I think this one's a cyst. I see it right there too. Oh, I see it. I'm not giving it, you. I know you're waiting for a back massage, but I'm not giving you. <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> it's pretty superficial here. What does that mean? It's uh, so closer to the surface closer of the, the skin. Surface, yeah. mm -hmm. So that's kind of nice because it doesn't. It hopefully means it'll pop out a little easier. Make sure I'm not hurting you, okay? Okay. I thought I might, may actually, because we only inject the top of it. I mean, it didn't hurt. It felt sharp, but it didn't. Hurt. Oh, I well, that's that is where it's numbing. That's when it's not working. So I need to put some more numbing in there. I'm gonna have you grab that for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll put a little more numbing in there on the outside. I'm gonna cover it a little because I'm gonna block it from spraying me. <laughs> Should creep in a little closer. This is numbing. What is she gigging about? Yeah, what is she? What is she doing? What are you giggling at, Squid? She sorry. finds it funny. You laughing at yourself? I think she's not happy because she's mm -hmm. tired. <laughs> Did you have to get real early to get over here? Mm -hmm. Let me squeeze it a little bit here. Yeah, it's a little cyst. Then you have to take Cooper to the doctor. Oh, our puppy. Oh, okay. We have a black lab mix puppy. Our little baby? He's puppy. four months old. Oh, oh, he's probably so full of energy. Oh, Ridiculous. my gosh. It's like having a two-year-old. Mm-hmm. Really, literally. But we need, he's limping this morning, so oh, we need no. to take him Oh, no, he got into some trouble there. Yeah, digging in my oh, yard. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's nice. He's got a nice yard. You probably can get some good amount of land out there, huh? Mm -hmm. With all those people you had in your family, man. I know. Our house is pretty around. Yeah. So do you, does everybody live at home still? Uh, no, right now there's just three kids and then a fourth, my son that graduated from college, he's coming home at the end of the month. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna go to grad school, to the plane to grad school. So he has to move back home, he's not excited. Cause he isn't. He's a starving college student and he thinks, oh. yeah, you know, I told him you have to live at home unless you apply yeah. somewhere far away. I mean, a lot of people do that, though. He's not alone. But, you know, that's kind of nice that he's not looking, I mean, in a way, looking forward to it. Because, I mean, that he'll probably be motivated to do something about it and change, you know? Oh, yeah. Some people are like, oh, I'm moving home. I'm glad. I don't have to do my laundry. Oh, yeah, I don't gotta, no. he has to do it. Oh, yeah, but you know what I mean. Some people are like, I get yeah. I have food at home. Well, the good thing about our kids, you know, we've raised them to be... Let's make sure we got it all. They're all pretty self-sufficient. Yeah. I mean, they don't... Uh, they're very responsible. They don't take good. advantage of us. They're yeah. always... They're, they're just... They're respectful and, yes. they, and they are thankful, you know, like you yes. raise them to be independent, though, and not needy yes. and stuff. Okay. exactly. I am just right now making sure that that is going to, because sometimes if you don't have a, you know, this is like a little bit of kind of fibrous tissue or scar tissue under here. And sometimes I'm concerned, even though I don't think it's a cyst, you know, that it creates a little empty space under there. Because you have to have fresh wound, fresh edges for it to close, you know, to, to stick together. Mm -hmm. I don't know if everybody understands what I'm saying, but that's what I'm thinking right now. So it is a cyst or it isn't? That's a cyst. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it already? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Isn't it cute? So I'm just, you know, I want to make sure. I think this is going to do, well, this is going to do great, but you know, the area is not that, um, it's more like scar, so I um, just want to make sure it'll heal and not kind of form a little space under there. We'll watch it over time. And so see. is there a sack with it? Uh huh. It's on around the outside. I just squeezed part of it out because it, the top of it, broke, and then oh. part of it. I mean, sometimes I try to get I try to get it out whole because when I do that, it actually increases the chance I know that I got it all. Right. But also, there's a point where I have to stop doing that and just take it out. Mm -hmm. if it breaks, number one, or you know, also sometimes I have to make the hole a lot bigger for me to get it out whole and 
No, there's also, I'm also trying to keep the scar line as small as possible. Oh. So both those things come to play. So two weeks, because I'm going to be on my vacation oh, oh. then, so you guys can, you can take this off, or your daughter, one of your daughters can take this off. Not me. I know, <laughs> not you. Maybe though, who knows, maybe you not will me. do it. No, okay. Daddy well, she's will. out. Daddy likes to, it's funny, he doesn't like to, to squeeze them, or to, but he... Does he like, he doesn't watch them either? No, he gets... Can he watch yours? He's squeamish, oh, yeah. you know, He'll yeah. take out stitches? You yeah. think he's squeamish with stitches? I know. Isn't that funny? Yeah, he, he, yeah. men are I weird. Yes, isn't that the truth? <sighs> you know, I read the book, you know, from Mars. Yeah? And it's so true. I don't know. I don't know if that's like a generation. I don't know if these young people know that book. That was like out when I was, you know, when we were... Mm -hmm. There's probably a new, a new book that's going to be like a lot like that. That'll right. come out for like this generation. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yay. Okay. 